Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking all about products that just did not work for me. There's not too many and some is kind of skincare, some is more makeup, but they really just straight out did not work for me. And there is even one thing that I tried for the first time today and it was an absolute no. We're not doing this. It messed with my makeup today and I'm not happy about it. So if you want to know what I tried and it just isn't up my alley, then just sit tight and we'll get right into it. All right, let's start off with the skin skincare stuff and just get kind of through that. The first thing I did already touch on in the haul, I believe, and this is from Way, if I'm saying it correctly. This is their body cream because I actually got a kit and I think that it was some kind of, I spent points on it or something and it was a Way kit and it had a scrub and a hair or something. I don't know. It had a bunch of stuff in it. I haven't used anything else but this and I thought that, you know, it would be really, really good and Mm, no, I told you in that video that this reminds me a lot of when you get like a Ralph Lauren or a Tommy Hilfiger or even like a Britney Spears like perfume kit and it comes with a lotion and the body wash and the body wash will usually give you like a UTI or a yeast infection and the lotion burns your skin and smells enough to give you a headache. That's what this reminded me of and it still reminds me of this. My hands have been really just rough because I've been cleaning a lot using a lot of cleaning products I've been washing my hands a lot and using a lot of hand sanitizer because tis the season and this does nothing to help with my hands absolutely nothing it causes a reaction because it's so high fragranced and I get migraines from this it just no absolutely no and the next product is a little sad because I've loved everything else that I have tried from then, but this one was just a no-go for me from Erno Laszlo. I am in love with their detoxifying oil. That's what I talked to you guys about before. I'm in love with their eye gel that I use every single night. And their, their bar, which they're known for, the black soap bar, that is fantastic as well. I just sent that actually to someone who may be watching as a little extra in her giveaway winnings but this is the fel feltil I don't know I'll have it up for you guys but this is their night cream I know that night creams are supposed to be heavier but this was not a good heavy for me I do have oily combination skin so I have been able to get away with going a little bit heavier on my night creams lately because it's the winter so more of my skin is dry but this was so I just felt like it was doing nothing but causing more oil to be all over my face and I didn't really care for the fragrance so I kind of quickly switched this out of my skincare routine because I did not care for it at all. It just was too heavy so I think that if you have dry skin like really really dry skin which a lot of people do I think that you might love this if you can afford it but it's not necessary. All right, this next thing. Ooh, okay, so I go to TJ Maxx a lot, and to be honest, that's where I get a lot of my high-end makeup and skincare is at TJ Maxx. So it's hard to talk to you guys about a lot of it because it's either discontinued or you can only find it there, and a lot of people aren't around at TJ Maxx or Winners, or Marshalls, you know, all those sister stores. But... Uh, okay, this is Strivectin TL. It's a tightening face serum and I got this just kind of so, you know, I can work with my turkey neck because I'm older, <laughs> I'm getting older and I'm at that age where I'm really starting to think about my skin more so of just covering it up with makeup and I thought that this may help because my DNA and my genetics is working against me here. My mom has, you know, like the neck, my grandma has the neck and I don't want the neck. They already gave me the under eye bags. I don't need anything else from those ladies, okay? They're, sometimes Sharon is not caring. But I used this and it actually broke me out all down my neck, all down the side of my face, and it didn't do anything. It did nothing. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe that's why it was at TJ Maxx. That's why they got it out of their inventory. I don't know, but I would not recommend this. If you go to a store that has it, I wouldn't recommend it. Mm -mm. All right, and the last thing, this is just little samples. And I actually, a friend of mine on here, she sent these to me and I was so excited. I still have more to try too, but this did not work. And this is from La Mer. I have just little, you know, enough here 
to get a good gist of it. But this is the La Mer Moisturizing Cream. Now, I only got these little samples, and they don't have anything on the back that says how to use this. So I actually looked it up and to read the directions on how to use this. With the moisturizing cream, you're supposed to warm it up in your hands until it's like translucent because it is a white cream. And then you're supposed to kind of like pat it and push it into your skin. And it's supposed to be the most amazing thing ever. And when you watch those larger YouTubers, they always talk about La Mer like it is God's gold, you know, onto your skin. So I was really excited to try this, but this is the worst product skincare wise I have ever tried in my life and it may not just be that's so dramatic that was so dramatic but true nonetheless <laughs> this just may be not made for my skin type but I did exactly what the directions said to do with this and it made my skin so oily and greasy and nasty feeling that I had to almost immediately go and wash my face so I know that I didn't use too much of it. I mean, that's kind of hard. There's little tiny pots, and I used maybe a little pea-sized amount, you know. And I know that I did it right because it went translucent, and then I just patted it lightly on my skin, and I knew it was going to be a little bit heavier, so I went light on that. It was disgusting. I could have, like, peeled it with my fingernails off of my skin. I knew it was going to break me out. I had to immediately go and wash this off. So I don't know. For me, maybe I'm just too oily to work with La Mer products. Maybe it's just too fancy for me. Me and my trailer, just too fancy. Who knows? But it did not work for me and it is a no-go. I would not even think about spending my money on that. Mm -mm. So I have about four or five makeup products lately that have been so disappointing. And when you spend your money on products, or not, even if they're gifted to you, but you're excited about them, when you get excited about a product and they, it doesn't work, you get angry you get powerful angry so mad <laughs> and these products really did that to me they really did the first product here was something that my good friend Tracy gifted me because a while back she sent me a huge box if not more of all of these amazing amazing companies and the products and just everything that I've never tried and it was so cool it made my whole freaking year let me tell you this is a company I have not heard of I think that they are more popular over in the UK they are like a prestige brand because they're super expensive never heard of them they're called Rouge Rouge Bunny Rouge so you'll have to let me know if you've ever heard of this company before I've tried their single shadows I've tried their lip glosses and there was a few other things and I thought that they were amazing but the price is like what I've never heard of you. You know, that's how I felt. But someone who lives in the UK or over there, they may be like, you don't know, you don't know this company. You're like insane. <laughs> anyway, this is their Nocturnal Ink Satin Eyeliner. And I actually have this one in, what color are you in, sir? Blue Rowan. Blue Rowan? R-O-A-N? I don't know. It's just a felt tip liner. And it has a very long almost thick kind of tip to it this is in a beautiful shade I actually use this on my eyes today however this is painful to put on that's my first problem with it it has no give to this it is like jabbing you in the eye it hurts really really bad and if you have any kind of eyeshadow on which I obviously do today the eyeshadow transferred onto this so much that it would give no pigment and then, once I finally got it on there a little bit, it dried so matte that it pulled on my eyelids. And I am older, 30s, so my eyelids are a little wrinkly. It looks like dried prunes where this eyeliner is. And I usually love the matte liquid liner, so this is not the norm. And then on top of it, my eyes water a lot. And a lot of the times, that's a problem with liquid liner. I have found even drugstore liquid liners that do not do this. But this is one of them that does. And it runs. And it just disappears. And it feathers everywhere. This was a horrible product for me. And I was kind of bummed because the color is so unique and so gorgeous. But it's a no-go. I have two concealers now that are from high-end companies. I actually went and I bought this while I was on my break from Alta and I was I really had high hopes the reviews were amazing and I've just heard good things so I really wanted to try these out the first one being benefit and this is their boing industrial strength concealer and it's just in a little pot this is 
bad. And it's super expensive, so I'm a little offended by it. I'm, I'm actually a little bit mad about it. This you have to really warm up with your fingers, and I mean for a good two minutes for it to actually be blendable. And then it goes on, and it industrial my ass, because this you can see things, if you just wipe it on your hand, you can see through it immediately. There is no not seeing it. And for some reason, it makes my skin look very crepey, like I put a powder on top of it, too much powder, when I never did. So it doesn't cover even close to what I was hoping it would, and it's not comfortable to wear, and it looks bad. And it's just too much of a hassle to work with. I love the NARS potted concealer, but this one, Benefit has kind of been a little like, mm, to me, since I've been doing YouTube, I've just never really gotten the point of that company. And then the next one actually hurts my soul because it's Laura Geller. I've actually met Laura Geller in New York City and she is the most amazing woman in the world. Amazing. I love her products. I don't know why they're not talked about enough. Maybe she just needs to like go back to the drawing board and come out with something that's super awesome. But I love her products, especially her baked products. Her baked products are my life. This I was I was really excited to try. It's a little expensive. This is her spackle concealer. This just like the Benefit one, it's almost sheer when it claims to not be. This for some reason, every time I've ever used it and filmed or taken a picture of myself, I looked horrible. And I couldn't figure out what it was until the last day that I wore this. And I was like, it's that concealer. You can see everything underneath of it. And it's like I put on a full face of makeup and forgot my concealer. And that looks weird on anyone. Anyone. <laughs> you know, so this is almost like putting a chalk on your face. And I was not impressed. And I stopped using it. And I'm sad about it. It's just not a product that I can get behind. All right, and the last two products are two mascaras. Now, I always say this, and I always like to say this, just so you realize that even though these products don't work for me, they may work for you, especially mascaras, because everything, every eyelash, every person's eyelashes are so uniquely different. <laughs> anyway, it could work for you. It could be your favorite, or you could end up getting it sometime and loving it and being like, Nikki, you're an idiot. But I'm not, because it didn't work for me. The first one is the IT Cosmetic Superhero. This, I actually had high hopes for. One, it like blows up. It's all over the wand. The wand, I actually like a lot because it's straight and it gets thinner at the end. So it's really easy to get into your eyelashes, but this stinks. It stinks so bad and I can smell it while it's on my eyelashes. It's so wet that it transfers everywhere. I don't think that this is good. Like I think that I'm pretty sure I got it in a BoxyCharm and I'm almost quite positive that BoxyCharm puts things that are about expired or you know discontinued in their boxes or, bo or about to be discontinued you know things that aren't selling and there's always a reason why things don't sell. So I think that that may be what's going on with that, but that, no. It was a smell that put me off, but it doesn't do anything for my eyelashes either. And then this one, this is from Lancome. This is their Hypnos Drama. This has a very curved wand. It's like, let me see if I can, yeah. It's like a curve, you know? And it's a curve that you don't want because you cannot do your lower lashes with this. This is another one that stinks. Lancome puts like high floral fragrance in their mascaras and it's caca it's just it's not good for me so this one also transfers a lot i never have a good mascara day using this and i gave up on it it's the smell you know i'm getting very sensitive to smells lately and i can't i just can't do it all right so those are the products that just did not work for me i will leave them listed down below maybe they are your favorites and if they are leave it leave us a comment let us know your skin type you know why it works for you everything like that because who knows, it could be someone's holy grail out there or potentially someone's holy grail. You never know, but I love watching these types of videos, so I always like to make them for you guys when I find stuff that just isn't working for me too. Just in case you guys have really short, like straight out eyelashes or combination oily skin. It could help, who knows. 
If you guys like this video and you want to see more of them, let me know in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me so, so much. Share the video if you want to go the extra mile. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.